Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel platform of learning. Today we are going to talk about the all important monitor model by Stephen Cruchain. Is this model was presented by Stephen Cruchain, which is consists of five interrelated hypotheses. These hypotheses explain the process of second language acquisition. It completely explains through its five interrelated hypotheses that how we acquire the second language. Now let's talk about the first hypothesis in this monitor model. That is acquisition versus learning hypothesis. According to Stephen Crochet, there are two independent ways to develop our linguistic skills. The first is learning and the second is acquisition. But guys, here we have to note the all important statement in this hypothesis and that is he claims in this hypothesis that learning does not help in the process of acquisition, rather it only helps in planning, controlling and altering before, during and after the already acquired system is initiated. It simply means that learning only helps in the correction of the our acquired are already acquired utterances. It only tells us that what should we do, what should we calculate in, in our mind before speaking or uttering something and during this utterance and what we think and how we correct our utterances after we uttered our sentences. Also, in this hypothesis, Stephen Cruchain differentiates learning from acquisition in the way that learning is a conscious process, it's formal, it's theoretical, only we learn rules and it uses grammatical rules, while acquisition is subconscious. It is informal, we do not learn it in educational and formal situations. It's practical, we practice language rather than studying it and there is no rule of grammatical rules at all in acquisition process. Now let's talk about the second hypothesis in this monitor model that is called monitor hypothesis. Christian claims that there is a monitor like LAD, yes it is an abstract concept which is developed through learning. We can say that monitor is nothing but a set of learned rules which helps in controlling the already acquired system and we use this monitor or learned rules in order to make corrections in our daily life utterances in second language. Now the monitor can be used successfully only if the following conditions are fulfilled. The first one is that the speaker must have enough time to figure out that what he is going to talk about or what he is going to utter and when he utters it has he enough time to make corrections if it is so then we can use this monitor successfully the second one is 
know the rules. Yes, if the speaker knows the rules, he has that monitor, that learned system in his mind, it is then that he will be able to use this monitor successfully. And if he does not know the rules and the same language, then he will, will not be able to use this monitor. And the third condition is be thinking about the correctness. Yes, when a speaker will think about his, his utterances, that whether they are correct or not, after it is after that, then he will be able to use this monitor successfully. And there are different types of the users of this monitor and and extroverts do not want to think about their correctness at all. Now one can easily figure out that if we use all these conditions for a, a successful using a monitor then we won't be able to communicate fluently. For this reason, Krishan recommends using the monitor at times when it does not interfere with communication, such as writing. We can use it in writing because in writing we have a lot of time to figure out things and we have also time to make corrections. Now, let's talk about the third hypothesis, that is the natural order hypothesis. In this hypothesis, Krushain claims that language L2 learners acquire second language in a predictable natural order, although this order is natural, but it is predictable too, unlike the acquisition of L1 or the first language. He says that commonly acquisition goes from simple to complex rules in the case of L2 acquisition process. He also claims that there is no significant difference between children and adults in terms of of second language acquisition. This hypothesis is mainly remembered that based on morpheme studies. That is almost similar to the natural order hypothesis of Stephen Cruchain. And now let's talk about the all important hypothesis out of these five and that is input hypothesis. And this hypothesis Cruchain claims that there is one and only one way to acquire a language and that is comprehensible input. In both cases, in the case of L1 acquisition, as well as in the case of the second language acquisition. But this input must be comprehensible, which means must be understandable to your students. Okay, and we can't make it comprehensible through videos, gestures, visuals, etc. Stephen Crochet formulates this hypothesis as I plus one. Here I means input and one means something new. Thus, he says that comprehensible input must be slightly above students' current level of the acquired system. Now it's time to discuss the fifth and the last one, but not the least one, that is effective filter hypothesis. In this hypothesis, Crochet explains that how different emotions either disturb or help us out in the process of the second language acquisition. The, this hypothesis uh, is, consists of three main emotions of which Christian talks uh, talks about. The first one is motivation, 
If motivation is high, we will acquire more comfortably and more and more quickly. And vice versa. The second emotion is self confidence. If your self confidence is high, you will learn and acquire the second language easily and with the and uh, within no time and vice versa too. And the third one is anxiety. If anxiety is low then we will be able to acquire the second language in no time comfortably. Otherwise it will be difficult and time taking process. A high effective filter can disturb our acquisition process. The filter should be lowered otherwise it prevents input for acquisition. How to lower effective filter? And there are different techniques for it. Number one, teachers should tell their students that errors are natural. They should not, not love at them. Number two, pair work and group work. When students work in pair, they their anxiety becomes lower and the third one is writing activities so their mind is already for what they will discuss today or tomorrow so they though the, the students will not be anxious thank you very much for watching goodbye hey, never forget to subscribe to my channel